Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn about using checkboxes in JavaFX. Now, first of all, what are checkboxes and why do we use it? Generally, checkboxes are used whenever you want to choose one or more items in a list, right? So for example, you want to choose uh, from your favorite sports. What are your favorite sports? They can be number of uh, sports which can be a uh, favorite sports, right? Or for example, you want to choose your favorite animal. So it's not necessary that you have to choose one animal. There can be multiple animal or there can be one animal. So in these situations, you can use checkboxes, right? Now let's get started and see how we can use them. So I have created this uh, sample project and I named it as checkbox. And as always, I have this application package in which I have this main.java in which I have added this line of code to add main.fxml and my main.fxml right now is empty and I have this main controller which is also empty right now. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my main.fxml file using the scene builder. And in here I have uh, this anchor pane. Now I'm going to go to controls and I'm going to take some checkboxes from here. So I'm going to take four checkboxes, one, two, three, and four. And first of all, I'm going to go to the property of these checkboxes and I'm going to change the name of uh, these checkboxes. So for example, if we want to uh, allow the user to choose for his favorite animal, right? So first checkbox, I will change the name of this checkbox as uh, for example, dog. And second checkbox, I'm going to name it as cat. And for the third checkbox, it will be for example cow and the fourth uh, checkbox will be for example rat okay and next what i'm going to do here is i'm going to give the id to all these checkboxes okay so i'm going to go to the code and i will give the id so for the first checkbox i will give the id for example cb1 okay and for the second checkbox, I'm going to give the ID CB2. And for the third checkbox, I'm going to give the ID CB3. And the fourth checkbox, I'm going to give the ID CB4 for checkbox four. Okay, so I have all these IDs. Now I need to connect my FXML file to the controller. So I will go to the controller here and I will choose this application dot main controller. And then I'm going to uh, create a function inside my main controller dot Java class. But first of all, I'm going to take some labels so that I can print which, uh, you know, items I have selected. Okay, so let's print here the number of items I have selected. And then let's take one more label to print which items I have selected, okay? So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger like this, okay? And I'm going to change the label of these two uh, labels. And I'm going to make them empty for now. And the first label name, I'm going to uh, name it as uh, label list, for example. Okay, so LBL list, which will uh, give us the list of uh, the items selected. Okay, the second label, I'm going to name it as uh, uh, label count, for example, because it's going to give us the number of items we have selected. Okay. So once everything is done, just save your code and then refresh your project once again. And now just go to your main controller dot Java class. And in here we are going to declare these uh, checkboxes and labels. So we have uh, four checkboxes and two labels, right? So I'm going to declare 
these checkboxes and labels. So I have declared uh, these four checkbox uh, variables and two label variables. And keep in mind these name should be equal to the FX ID we have provided for the labels and the checkboxes, right? So for the checkboxes, we have the label CB1, CB2, CB3, and CB4. For uh, the label, we have label count and label list. So same name I have given here, and I'm going to uh, import the checkbox, and I'm going to import the JavaFX uh, label here, okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a public void method to listen for these checkbox event, okay? So just add a public void method here and it's going to return nothing, so it's void. And the name of this method, I'm going to uh, say it's uh, check event, okay? And it's going to take one argument, which is action event and give the name to the argument, which is event, for example. And now inside your method, what we are going to do is we are going to first define a variable, which is count, which is going to give us the number of items selected. And second uh, variable, I'm going to declare a string here, okay? And this string is going to display our message. So let's say it's message here. And I'm going to initialize it by the empty string. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, one of my checkbox object, which is CB1. And I will create a if statement here and take my CB1 object. And I'm going to call a method called is selected here. Okay, and this method returns the Boolean value. If your checkbox is selected, it's going to give us true. Otherwise, it's going to give us false, right? So if the checkbox one is selected, we will increment the counter by one. So we know that one item is selected. And then we are going to add to this message string the name of the checkbox. So just concatenate the name of the checkbox. So just write plus equals and then cb1, which is our checkbox uh, object name, dot get text. Okay, so it's going to return you the text. And for example, we want to, uh, you know, show each item in different line. So you can add a plus and then inside these double quotes, you can give this backslash and then n to change the line, right? The same thing I'm going to do for other four checkboxes. So I'm going to copy this if condition and paste it three more times. And this will be our CB2 and in here also CB2 and this is CB3 and in here also CB3 and the CB4, okay? Now the last thing what we want to do is we want to set to our labels the value, right? So we will take our label count uh, variable from here. And in here, we will just uh, set the count value to this label. So just write label count dot set text. And then we can uh, just add a message first, for example, uh, items selected, and then the semicolon and then give your counter value or count value here, okay? In the second label, which we have, we have this label list. And inside this label, we are going to the set the text once again, set text. And in here, we are going to set the message, okay? So that's it, uh, this is our code. Now one thing which is remaining here is we want to add this uh, method in our fxml file. So just copy your method from here, go to your fxml file, and then to each of your checkbox, go to each checkbox and go to on action here, and then choose your method from here, okay? So for each checkbox, you need to do this, okay? So one, two, three, and four checkboxes, okay? And now save your code, 
and then refresh your project once again and then run your code so our app is running now so let's uh, select one checkbox and it prints the name or text on the checkbox and it also prints the number of checkbox selected so right now only one checkbox is selected so it's pr it prints one right let's select the second uh, checkbox and now you can see both the names of the checkbox and number of uh, items selected okay let's select third and in here you see three and in here you see three uh, you know names of the items right and the fourth right now uncheck these and you will see all these uh, items are uh, printed here and number of items is printed here also so in this way you can use checkboxes in java fx i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now